What's going on YouTube? It is that kid Dimes here, bringing back another video. And once again, I do have to be quiet because I'm uploading this video late once again. But as you guys can tell by the title, this is actually a really, really big topic. And because if you guys haven't seen, a lot of people are making videos on this. And this kind of ties into the video I made last, um, or my last video, and it was on how Fortnite is dying. Well, this is basically going to be exposing Fortnite and basically like, I don't know if you could call it exposure, but like why Fortnite is so popular and why Fortnite is going to die so quickly, so fast. Now, the first one that like is really, really pissing everybody off is that the skills gap is being affected. Now, if you guys don't know what H1Z1, it used to be a battle royale game that I used to watch. Not really play, but I watched a lot. And it was a really good game until Season 3. They started messing with the game mechanics. And it was mostly, like, different stuff. And it really, really affected the skills gap. And what started to happen is all the good... Sorry, that was my phone. All the good uh, H1Z1 players stopped playing the game and eventually the new players started to get bored now that is what fortnite is not doing but like they are slowly processing into doing that now the first thing that like really shows and really hurts the skills gap is this random number generator and now if you don't know what that is sometimes if you shoot somebody with a pump and you're a really good player you shoot a little noob with a pump and for some reason you get 41 like maybe on the head maybe like mid body and they'll turn around and shoot you like basically not aiming and somehow they'll get like 150 and it kills you now that is a big problem in fortnite because obviously the non-skilled players are they're just they're getting easy kills they're getting unskilled kills and the skilled players are basically getting bs'd now the reason fortnite is doing this is because kind of like every single game like 2k is a big big one it's if a person if a player is new to the game and he sucks he will quit the game or stop playing the game fortnite wants to bring in all the little kids who are basically not that good at games or just um, have no idea what they're doing. They want to bring those people in and make it seem like they're good. So when those people look and see, oh, I'm actually really good at this game. I think I might play this game more. That is what Fortnite's trying to do. Now, there's a lot more examples of this. I'm going to head into some other ones. The second one is obviously the less materials being given out. Now, maybe if you guys gotten the game when it first came out, everybody knew on how... Nobody really built. It was mostly just like shooting. But now, if you are a good builder like Nick E H eh, Nick eh, whatever his name is, Nick eh, thirty, and Myth, you are going to be a very good player. Their skills, their gun skills are not that good, but their building and editing is insane. Same with Cipher. And this shows the skills gap between the players who can build and the players who can't. Now, them lowering the spawn rate from llamas. And from uh, drops on the ground just shows that they are trying to lower that skills gap again. They don't want the good players to be able to build over the garbage players and get destroyed. They don't. Fortnite doesn't want that to happen. So they're trying to get the good players to get less mats. So it's more like the bad player isn't getting built on. Now obviously this is really really bad. A lot of people are complaining about this and... It's just really obvious that Fortnite is just bringing in players, and it's, it's it's really obvious what they're doing now. Now, I don't honestly, I don't like what they're doing because not only is the game free, but you can play with your friends. So they bring in lots and lots of players, and they basically show that you can be good, but you actually suck. But you can be good. So this is disrespectful to the good players. Like maybe. I would say I'm a decent player. It's disrespectful to me when I've been playing all this time and some little new, maybe he's nine years old, turns around and pumps me in the head. That's disrespectful to me because I've been doing this game all this time and there's the, the skills gap is so little. Now, this is why Fortnite has a big chance of dying because when the skills gap is so low, just like an H, just like an H1Z1, 
Eventually, all the good players are going to start leaving. All the streamers are going to start leaving. Ninja always, always complains about the game now. He doesn't seem like he's really having much fun. Sometimes he's just really getting BS'd. But once all those streamers start leaving, the viewers start leaving, and everybody will start trying to find a different game. Now, the biggest thing that helped Fortnite blow up is not only is it free, it came out in the dead season. Now, the dead season is like when no new games come out. So, there's really no new games coming out. It came out after 2K like was almost dying and Madden was already dead. So, it came out during that time. So, Fortnite was basically the only thing. And what do you do when you don't have a game to play? You search for free ones. And this is what came out. And, yeah, it's fun. You could play with your friends and stuff like that. But, at the same time, you, you're just... It's basically just kind of, I don't know if you could call it cheating the system, but I don't know. I just don't like what they're doing. Now, obviously, there's another one that really pissing, is pissing people off. This doesn't really prove anything, but there's no competitive modes. Now, they might be doing this for two reasons. One, they want to keep it for the like limited time mode, which is dumb. Or, the good players might stumble on these modes, realize they're actually kind of ass, and might just stop playing the game. Now, the next thing I'm going to talk about is how bad players in this game are, like, still kind of winning. Now, this is the biggest problem in 2K. Some player can literally go, dude, you suck at 2K. Play me one-on-one. And they just make a whole bunch of lucky threes and win you. Huge contested threes and beat you. Now, this is the same problem in Fortnite. They can call themselves good because they win but they have one kill. They might hide all game and have one kill and win the game and think they are good. And this is like the misconception. And then these people think they are skilled at the game and will keep playing the game. Now, there's games like Rocket League and Rainbow Six. And if you're new and you try to play ranked, you're going to get destroyed no matter what. Because there's a skills gap in that game. You're going to get destroyed. If there's a grand champ playing a silver the silver can't talk trash because he knows he will get destroyed now you can't do that on this game because there's no way to tell that now another big thing that fortnite has been hiding from everybody is skill-based matchmaking um internet adam he did actually release a reddit post about this a couple days ago saying that his uh source told him this that Fortnite brought in skill-based matchmaking, and they didn't put it into the patch notes. There were some streamers who actually knew about this and complained about it. But yes, skill-based matchmaking is a thing. If you play with players who have lots of wins, you're going to be put against players who have lots of wins. So if you are playing with a player who got carried, you are going to be match matched up against people who have the same amount of wins as them. Now, this is the huge problem because... Obviously, the bad players play the bad players. Once again, they're getting this false lie told to them that they are skilled at the game and they will keep playing it. This is uh, Fortnite's biggest problem and I feel like they really need to change it up. They need to change up the random number generator. They need to make it fair. Just like with the ARs, sometimes you'll be shooting right at somebody but for some reason, it's not counting at all. It's not hitting them. And then they take out the art AR and start spraying you and for some reason they're all headshots and you get killed this is why the game is going to die that's what I just feel like it is going to die and there's nothing really we can do about it unless they change it up we saw it happen in H1Z1 it's most likely gonna happen in this game unless they add that skills gap now once again if Fortnite were to put in that skills gap actually put in some type of shotgun thing where if you shoot them in a certain place on the body it actually does a certain amount of damage then all the kids who think they're raw at the game will stop playing the game and fortnite will die if fortnite were to put a price on this game all the skilled people would most likely stop playing the game because they realize now i realize this too this game is not that good the biggest reason people think it's good is because what I told you, it's free. 
and you can play with your friends and if you're bad you can destroy people because or at, or match up with people because it matches up against bad people but i know this could be like some people might hate on me for this video but it's just what i think i've seen other videos on this um I think there was a dude named Zed or Ved or something like that who uploaded a video similar to this and I did watch that before I uploaded this video and he talked about the same points of what I was thinking that this game skill gap is getting lower now this is a big reason on how 2k died it's skills gap just got lower and right now everybody's complaining about skills gap hopefully it comes back in then 2k will once again be lit but yeah guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe and comment down below do you think fortnite will potentially die once all these new games come out because we have been seeing bangers in e3 and ea and all that yeah guys i hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe it's a bit that dimes and i'm out peace